Hello everyone, I'm Iron Phoenix and welcome to Revoco. So what have I done in these the past few days? Um, apart from updating every couple of days it seems, um, I've been doing some more things with control systems. Um, sorry, I'm just looking at my notes. So uh, steadily filling a brand new notebook with lots of diagrams which would be highly amusing to leave outside a bank uh, right so mm, I think it's just this page right let's jump in uh, crash there we go here's our map right so the first thing that I've added is a planet now th that's this round thing here and if I go into this one Actually, no, I will first show you this. Okay, so this is the security system. Th and yeah, this is just the UI for the security system with the bridge. Nothing really more to show with that. Basically, what that does is that it will say what the, um, what the name of the room is. Um, it will tell you if there's a fire in the room and it will t tell you the status of the doors and then you can toggle the doors like so and that's that so let's let's jump into this UI it's a little bit more interesting so you can enter the seat all this, this does is it's currently it just locks the controls there's no but what it does do is move the planet that's in front of you like so it, ro ro it rotates the planet around you so you know this is this is the first step really in um, I suppose the whole cheat for how games use uh, sort of scenes to, sh to, to, to pretend that you are actually moving when in fact you aren't what this is doing it, it's really obvious because obviously I've got the land and nothing else really moves but what this does is that it moves the planet around you now when I start actually adding more things like when I get the cockpit in uh, and you basically can't see the ground you can't see that you're standing still it will kind of look a little bit more like the ship is moving in space when actually you no, know, the, the space is moving around you it's how they do it in Kerbal Space Program uh, what they do is if you are a certain distance away from Kerbin it then moves the center of the, the universe to you so, so your ship is the center of the universe and then it moves the uni the, the, uh, the galaxy I should say the, is it, uh, the solar system um, it then moves the solar system around the player not the player around the solar system um, so that's that really and then I've got a few um, uh, like visual displays of quite what things are doing you can increase your thrust with shift and control and then maneuver using W, A, S and D and also Q and E so W, D is your pitch a and D is your yaw, and Q and E is your roll. So that should look quite good when it's done. And that's pretty much what I've been getting up to, really. It's been unbelievably hot here uh, in the Midlands. Um, so I haven't really felt like doing much, um, especially when chocolate bends. Um, it's you know you can't keep your sugar high and coding is hell without sugar and heat and stuff so that's what I've been doing anyway it's 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 definitely now coming together quite quickly uh, never know might see something happen soon possibly maybe uh, who knows so as always any questions feedback anything really feel free to add it to the description if you want to see a build sooner rather than later let me know and I will shove it in 
and as always if anyone's got any questions about how I did anything in this video please ask. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Hey guys, my farewell was a little premature and so we go from the mm, reasonable to the bad. So what you see here is Deus Ex Invisible War, probably one of the worst games that has ever been made. Now the reason why I would say that this was one of the worst games that ever, that's ever been made was because it was developed by Iron Storm and it was published by Eidos, two companies that really should have known better. Now the game is dated, but even so it doesn't look that good. I've got everything on full and yet the, the highest resolution is 1280 by 1024 and I've got multi sampling on to times 8 and I don't really see a lot of different things. I don't even know what the multi sampling is meant to be doing. If it's meant to be some kind of a smoothing system it's definitely not doing that. If it's something to do with the textures, again, it's not doing that either. It looks like not even the Source game. I would say that it looked very similar to Half-Life. And the problems with it do far, far outweigh the benefits. So I've just broken into a guy's room I don't really know why I broke into the guy's room. He caught me and I zapped him to death. Quite an interesting mechanic really, the zapping. The stun prod, which was so good in Deus Ex, you could sneak up behind the guy and zap him. And that would knock him out in one blow. In this it takes three or four sneak attacks to knock someone out with a stun prod. It's, it's baffling why they, they chose that, that um, mechanic. So let's start from the beginning. For those of you that haven't played Deus Ex, Deus Ex puts you in the role of a cybernetically engineered warrior, essentially. And your body's been engineered to accept nanites, which group in certain areas of the body to give the player special abilities so if I so this side which I'm scrolling down is my inventory on the other side it's there's my abilities now the main problem with these abilities that I have is that there is very little progression so unlike in Deus Ex 1 where you had a skill tree and you had your abilities as well so your skill tree would affect how you interacted with the world and your implants would give you your, your body certain benefits so super strength, the better hack abilities, that sort of thing whereas this time it's pretty much condensed the skills and the implants into one and the biggest issue that I have with this is that your abilities that you have you unlock four of them in the first area and you can probably even upgrade one of them as well in that first area I can't remember so those four abilities that I've unlocked under the top one which is like your your light um, they are yeah I unlocked them literally three of them came out of the same cabinet in the sort of the tutorial this is how you, you use your biotech stuff but let's walk through this level I've, I've chosen Emerald Suites to walk through because I think it is the most damning I think of all of the areas but it's it's a little bit you know there's a little bit more freedom than in the first area which is horrible I mean there are some nice things, you can open the fridge and there's a light and it, you know, you get some kind of, you know, some kind of weird dynamic light, only it's not really, the, you know, you, you, yeah, it's very, very cheaply done, but as you can imagine, and you can pick things up and you can throw them around, 
and you can cause all kinds of problems. Can't pick up the coffee maker. Oh no, you can use the coffee maker. And you can use the sink and the shower looks reasonable for a game at this age as well. You can, you know, turn the shower on and use the toilet and do various bits and pieces, throw the shampoo around as normal. And under here there is a knife. So I can show you the inventory system. This is the inventory system. Hold on, it's not I, it's V. Why do you put your inventory system on V? This is not logical. I mean, C is crouch, which is reasonable. You do see games with uh, crouch on C. N, for some reason, is like your PDA. I would put PDA on tab. Tab is a uh, switch weapon, which you can do with your scroll wheel. Now, games of this, this age, they were released on uh, on PCs that would have had scroll wheels, I think. You know, they were starting to make an appearance um, in those days, which kind of begs the question of, I mean, it, it, Deus Ex even works with the scroll wheel, so why do you put tab on change weapon? And it's not even, cha you know, it's, it's just move it down. It's weird. So this is the inventory, so you have one, two, three, four, five, six slots for your for your active stuff. And then another six slots for the stuff that you know you can you can switch things around and you can drop things. I'm gonna drop this combat knife. But twelve slots, is that all really? I'm gonna pick up this toxin blade. It sounds awesome. And I'm gonna move so I need the scum grenade for in a second. I'm also going to drop one of these pistols, but before I do the pistol, drop the pistol, I'm going to do this. It's such a weak sound of a pistol. They should have come up with something better. And, um, you know, you don't even leave any um, bullet holes behind. Half-Life could leave decals behind when you shot a wall, so why can't this? It's a thief. If you shot out, you could shoot out lights. You can't do that on this. It's weird. Also, you can run around with a gun in your hand, and so does won't even bat an eyelid. Yeah, I've got a gun. They might stop and stare at you, but they don't really say anything. They don't say, "Oh, put that gun away." He's got hey, a really nice not gun. Blind, you know. Alert. He even puts his gun away when you're waving a gun in front of him. It's weird. And and to put it away. If this thing has greyed out, you can't just right click to holster, you actually have to select it again and holster. It's bizarre. So I'm going to go up the, the, the elevator shaft now. Uh, wait a minute. Ugh. I think there's another... I can pick up another one here. First I'm going to go crawling. In here. There's a multi-tool in here, you see. So I can show you the weird multi-tool mechanics. So, back in the old days, I think there's a multi-tool in here. Oh, maybe there isn't. Maybe I've picked it up already. Back in the old days, oh yeah, I have, okay. So I came through here. Back in the old days, um, so multi-tools would be, you know, an item that you use quite a lot, and same with lock picks. Oh, there's one down here. I can show you here. So I have multi tools here, and I've got health packs that stack up to three, and you know your energy cells. They all stack. And multi tools, I've got two there. Greetings. Got no space, but I do have multi tools. Inventory is full. I can only carry two multi tools at a time, and yet, I you know, med kits stack. Would you know they're larger than than multi tools? NG cells they're larger than multi tools. They stack up. Why can't I carry more than two multi tools on one stack? It's weird. So then I have to think. Oh well, okay. I do need to eat something. All your food stacks on one. So it's, you know it's absolutely bizarre. But I need this because I need to show you the wonderful hacking mechanics. So to hack. Uh, a panel like this you right click on the panel to bring up you out your multi-tool but of course it won't actually show you that you've got your multi-tool until you back off from it 
and then you click and hold. And you actually have to hold your mouse button down for a few seconds for this to do it. And then we get can climb up the ladder because yeah. But of course you can fail at climbing ladders. You're you've got nanites in your blood and you can't climb a ladder. Oh. Ah, there you go. You can get pushed off that by um, you can get pushed off the ledge and then uh, get injured from falling down a tiny, tiny lift shaft. Now, I should talk a minute about proportions because they all seem to be a little bit off. That is not a very tall lift shaft. I mean, that is meant to be a lift shaft, and actually, there's something fundamentally wrong with this lift shaft. Can you work out what it is? There's no lift. That might be why the lift shaft is the lift isn't currently working because somebody has managed to steal an entire lift. There we go. Oh, I've just got injured falling down that. So yes, somebody has stolen a lift somehow. That's bizarre. So now I'm going to save here because basically every time I've gone through a transition point it's crashed so what I'm going to try now is I'm going to kill Fraps and then go through the transition because Fraps might be uh, causing some problems so um, I'll see you in a second after this transition hopefully yeah so it seems that if you've got Fraps running during a loading screen for Deus Ex the game crashes absolutely no idea why also no matter what you're doing you know if you do go through a transition the game will minimize for no reason and then maximize to the loading screen again why now there's a multi-tool behind this bag you can throw things around which is you know in the end you know that's probably one of the big features of deus ex and i think if they'd remove the ability to just randomly throw things around it would feel a little bit worse than it is which I mean it is, you know it's really not that much you know it's a little bit of fun when you're dealing with these insane inventory limits like there's right, I need to slam the grenade and I need to throw to that dude really pathetic throw for, with the grenade but now he likes me I think this should show you show off the hacking. Hacking looks like this. Yeah, this is interesting. At least um, in in Deus Ex, you had a little bit more interface, and you could find sort of PDAs littered around. And I don't even know if there's a light switch in here. It's really really dark. So I use lot. I use the night vision. Yeah, in Deus Ex, you actually have you could find PDAs and you could log into systems. Oh. Night vision depletes the bio energy. Um, oh, it's just little things, you know. Everything feels a little bit half-assed. So you walk into this room and it's got a snooker table. And in oh, Duke Nukem, you had a snooker table and you had balls and you could knock the balls around. Where's the balls? Where's the cues? You know, just little things like this. Really, really let the game down, I thought. Well, to be fair, the entire game let the game down, but lost over that. Run away, run away. I've got to go up these stairs. No, I'm not here. It lies. There's no infrared here. Right. Let's see. Let's see what's in this one. I don't know. Hacking's just so dull in this. It's, you literally just right click. If you've got the implant, you right click on a computer and you wait. And oh look, I've now opened the vault. 
and I mean you can get that implant literally so I, I would recommend if you ever play Deus Ex Invisible War if you are really this and that insane um, There we go. If if yeah, so if you do play this game, get that hacking the hacking tool from the black market mod that you find in literally the first area through a cabinet which just needs a single multi tool to get through. Which you'll find the multi tool on a shelf nearby. That's you know, that's pretty much the game. You're just kind of an errand boy really, you know. Oh look a cabinet which I need to get through with a multi-tool there'll be a multi-tool nearby somewhere it doesn't really encourage you to hoard especially when you've got these pathetic oh now this is stacking up to three why it, w it wouldn't let me stack it up to three before so I don't know I don't know if there's some kind of hidden inventory mechanic that only allows you to hold a certain amount of items I don't know it doesn't tell me it's ridiculous. Now I'm going to just drop that. Don't need it. Now I'm going to take the energy sword, the energy blade from Deus Ex 1, and the EMP converter, which allows me to damage um, robots, which I feel could be quite useful. And I'm also going to fit a silencer. Probably that will do. So it can sound like this. It sounds moderately better with a silencer on it, rather than the hot, the, than the full thing. Uh, let's see if there's anything interesting elsewhere that I can pilfer. Probably the main feature, I suppose, of any Deus Ex game is that you are basically looking around for things to steal, or you know, showers. You know, just any kind of anything that seems a little bit interesting to click on, you tend to just click on it or you shoot it. I mean, in here, there's not even anything. You know, it's a jug. Let's throw a jug at a robot thing. Oh, that security camera. I don't know what makes that glass any different to that glass, but that glass broke and this glass won't. And it don't, you don't even, you know. What kind of glass is that that doesn't even... I mean, is it even there? It's... It's a very, very strange game. In that... It doesn't really do anything that other games of the time didn't already do. And in fact, a lot of games that had come out before and during the time that this game came out, they did things that this game doesn't do if that makes it much sense it's a pretty much a waste of it's definitely a waste of your money unless you can either find someone who's willing to pay you to take it off their hands or maybe they really really want a copy of Dota you know speaking of which if anybody really wants a copy of Dota I've got about 15 copies in my inventory at the moment so uh, let me know so that is pretty much Invisible War and it's, it is a good showcase of everything not to do in the video game. You know, you don't cater for consoles, I mean this world is pretty much catering for the console market. But I should say, I may have mentioned this in this video, I can't remember, I really can't remember. I've done a few takes of this. Um, the rather darker side that I suspect is the case with this penthouse suite. Now you are meant to be on top of a building, now I suspect that this penthouse suite is its own instance because it's larger than the building that it's built on. This is my suspicion because it is quite large and I don't know, I don't know if maybe the proportions are off, but this is my suspicion that I mean, it's definitely not large. They they could very well have put this on top of the, uh, you you know, they could have just had a door there, a normal door. But why did they make this transition? Because there's nothing really much, you know, there's nothing graphics heavy. Even for my Voodoo 3, this it could have handled 
um, the downstairs and the upstairs so I, I'm loath to wonder quite why they made some of these transitions they are very very evident later on in the game to the point where leaving by the door might not trigger a transition but leaving by a window will and in fact maybe the transition comes later on so you might go through a door where you might so you have the window next to you that will trigger a transition but going through the door won't but going through another door inside will trigger the transition so it's very very strange so yeah if you are interested in playing this this god awful game then it is sold on steam um, so you can give IDOS some more money which they desperately need I would have thought Actually, they don't really. Their, their, their games recently seem to be, um, you know, reasonably good. I mean, Tomb Raider seems to be doing pretty well, and Human Revolution wasn't bad. I think they definitely helped themselves, but by not making it part of the Deus Ex, Deus Ex, and Deus Ex Two uh, sort of storyline or lore, because this one very much is basically. Deus Ex ended with three endings. Now, generally, if you've got a game like that that ends with a few different endings and you build a sequel, usually you'll just assume that they did the more, one of the more interesting ones. Stalker, I think Stalker Call of Pipriot did that. They kind of just assumed certain things that you've done in the previous games with this it's not like that instead of just choosing one and going with it they chose all three and all three and they all conflict with one another uh, I won't spoil it for those of you that haven't played Deus Ex and want to I would recommend that you do but there are three endings and they are all very different to one another and taking all three endings and just amalgamating them into one and then basing this game off that mess did ruin it I think you know I think they made their life lives a lot harder than they needed to be by picking all three endings so this is Deus Ex this is probably the game that I would vote as one of the worst games probably even the worst game ever made simply because it was made by two companies that should should have known better so that that's that's it for me and this really is it for me um, there won't be another video there won't be another part to this video so thanks for watching and I will see you next time